ever dropped your phone or maybe your wallet? Um, how about if you dropped one of these? Oh, <laughs> Robert Trejo with Zoom Imagination joins me. And this is what happens to reindeer's antler, right? That's right, every year. Every year, look at this. So does it, does it, so every year they fall off. Every does it, fall. does it hurt? Like? No, it's, it's actually, they like it. Cause uh -huh. it starts to get kind of itchy, almost like it dries up. It becomes uh -huh. more like a scab. Uh -huh. So they'll start rubbing on trees. They'll start anything they can rub on to knock it off. And as you can tell by the weight, yeah. it's, they, it's a relief for them. They, you know, they, they know it's time. Well, they must they, feel lighter than air yes. when, this, <laughs> when this happens. They, they even hold their head differently. Once it falls off, it's like, oh, oh okay, here we I go. Can, I, can, I can hold it way up here. And you, of course, have some reindeer here. We do, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, we've got a small herd of reindeer that we work with during the holiday season. And of course, after Christmas, after the holidays are over, they're on vacation. And then that's when they drop their antlers and then they start to grow new ones. Well, what better yeah. place to be on vacation than South Texas? All right, no kidding. You know, right? Okay. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about each reindeer here. Well, we've got this Jingles. She's a four-year-old female, and she dropped one of her antlers already. So the other one's due to come off anytime. Well, she's one of our first reindeer that we that we brought out. This one is Noel. She's a three-year-old female, and you can tell by her antlers they're a little smaller. Mm -hmm. It really depends on their genetics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Noel. She's just being. She is our cute little one. She's, she's our goofy one. Hey, Ted, are you okay? <laughs> she's our goofy one. You know, uh -huh. each one of them has a personality. She's a goofy one. Yeah, she'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all she does. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but you know, that's what they do. They, they use those antlers, but you know, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll drop their head. And once they drop their head, that's what they use there. You know, once she gets up to the camera, she'll go, oh, that's not a big deal. In the natural environment, of course, their antlers are what protects them. Now, once they lose their antlers, they don't use, they don't have antlers to do that. So what do they do? They rear up and they can kick with their front legs. These reindeer have all been conditioned. They're right. all halter trained. They would take them out on programs. Um, they meet so many people over the course of the holiday season. When they're off for the, re you know, they're out here grazing, mm -hmm. and they, they, that's when they bulk up on their weight for the winter. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, they need that energy to regrow their antlers. And once it starts to grow, it only takes 70 days to grow in, in their antlers. Some of them can get like jingles of it. You saw how big that antler is, uh, and they're only a year apart. So, you know, it just depends on what they do, but sometimes they get bigger or smaller and they have different shape and sizes every year. It's mm -hmm. such a vascular mm -hmm. thing. The blood is what's actually growing the bone or the antler. So, so her, that other one has got to fall off like any oh, minute now. Yeah. I mean, pretty much. It, it may not take much. You might right. hit the fence, you might right. hit a tree. And then it just goes thunk. Yeah. And so their coat, is it a lot thicker if they were to be in cold weather? Most certainly, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. These have adapted. They've been mm -hmm. raised in South Texas, so they don't have to have that thick coat. Uh, if you were to see some up north, mm -hmm. it's almost white. They're very thick. Uh, their hair is hollow like a polar bear, too. And they pant like a dog, too. So if they get hot, they can open their mouth and pant, and that keeps them cool, too. And of course, their hooves, as you know, their mm -hmm. hooves are designed for like running on snow and for swimming. So tell folks what, of course, you do with Zoo Imagination. Well, we are a traveling uh, wildlife outreach. Mm -hmm. So we'll come to you, we'll come to your school, we'll do a birthday parties, mm -hmm. we do special events with a variety of different animals. And we just teach people about wildlife mm -hmm. and try to bring them closer together so they can see them up close and they can learn a lot more about them. Tell folks how to find you. They can reach us at zoomagination.com. And on the website, uh, there's my, our email address mm -hmm. and our phone number if you want to do it that way. But that's the best way to get in touch with us. And for more information, of course, on Robert Trejo and Zoom Imagination, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Mm -hmm.